Casper Gaming ASMR. And if you're familiar with this game, you already know what it is. And if you don't, today I'm going to be starting a Slime Rancher. And I think I may have mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, I did already record two hour-long videos of me playing Slime Rancher. But unfortunately... There was a glitch with my video recording software, and all the footage got deleted, or all the footage wasn't good. Um, the audio, the audio wasn't captured right, so I wasn't able to use it. Um, so I'm just gonna start the game fresh because I made a lot of mistakes anyway when I uh, played it the first time. So, hopefully I will have a smoother playthrough for you uh, this time. Again, it has been probably three weeks at least since the last time I played, so I've already forgotten a lot of, a lot of the stuff I learned, but yeah, at least I remember how some of the pitfalls of this game, I guess. So yeah, so in this game, you play as, I think her name is Beatrice, you play as a slime rancher on this planet, and your goal is to, as you may have guessed, ranch slimes, because apparently they're Pope, which uh, are called plorts, is very valuable for some reason, so the whole, the whole goal of this game is to gather these plorts, which, when I keep saying that, I keep doing a P-pop into the mic, so I guess I need to work on my vocal technique, unless maybe, maybe the pop is a trigger for some, but let's, okay. I'm not really following the tutorial since I just did this, so I remember how all this works. But basically you go around the planet, or this ranch, there's different areas, and uh, steal these slimes, capture them, put them in captivity. Oh, did not mean to, I guess I can put my chickadoo. And then you have to feed them different food, causing them to drop these plorts. And then you collect the plorts and sell them in that machine. And there's various upgrades that you get throughout the game to make life easier and to make your ranch more profitable. And there's several different slimes to capture. And yeah, there's some other mechanics as well. So this is the plort market. That's just the basic one, so it's, each plort is worth 10. Oh, these coins, I'm not sure what they're called, where the currency is. And this changes from day to day. So probably these, um, probably these basic plorts will not be worth that much within a couple days. And see, now I have these different upgrades I can get. So let's see. The air net is kind of nice. But I need 25 more coins before I can afford that. Greatly reduces slime agitation. I could uh, raise the walls. Or, let's see, how much does it cost for another pen? Or I could just buy another corral for 250 Maybe I'll just do that. I'll just start with another corral. Welcome back again. So, there's two possibilities there. I was just recording, and my recording software cut out. I think it's saved. Uh, the previous 
this footage I'd recorded is only about five or six minutes. So if that worked, there was just probably a weird cut in the video. That was me restarting my system and starting a new recording. And if that footage is unusable, then welcome to this first episode of Slime Rancher. So I already kind of explained the stuff in case I can use the first footage. I don't want to bore you by going back through the details, but short version. Basically, sli uh, ranching these slime creatures to collect their poop to sell on an alien stock market. So, pretty straightforward stuff. But yeah, right here, these are the plorts. And that's what this game is all about. So, I just bought my first upgrade. Well, not even an upgrade, I just bought a second corral. These are corrals here that you put the slimes in. In a thing I don't know if it was a good idea to buy a second one of these or if I should have just focused on upgrading this one. So, I guess we'll find out. So, I want to try to get enough ports to start a garden. It's already becoming nighttime. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly what I was saying before the video cut out. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I recorded. I went home to visit some family, so I've been relying on my backlog of videos for the past couple of weeks. Um, so I'm a little bit rusty recording today. And I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, so, um, yeah, don't know where I was going with that, but I'm sorry if this video is not my best work. It's off to a bit of a rocky start, I will admit. So yeah, let's see if we can get another six plorts before this day ends, and then we can plant a garden. And I'm gonna try to plant um, these heartbeats. Oh, I just got that joke. It's pretty obvious, but that's funny. A heartbeat. Okay, so now we should have enough to plant a garden. Which, again, I don't know if that's a smart early investment, but I'm going to go with it. I know very little about this game, so my strategy might not be the best. Storage would be good. Okay. Let's purchase this garden, and it'll now grow heartbeats. So. slime away from your crops. So yeah, I've been meaning to talk about these these tars. They're like the main and potentially only enemy in the game. I am um I'm not sure if there's other enemies further in the game, but the tars are the main enemy I've come across while playing. And the reason I restarted my game oh there uh I want these ones. I captured a bunch of them last time, but then they flew off. So it's hard to keep them. I think I need to get the like air net before I can actually like capture those types of slimes. Or keep those types of slimes without them just immediately flying off. might not even make sense to, you know what, I'm going to drop them. There's no point. They're just going to fly away. But I know there are two other types of slimes around. There's... There should be some of the, yeah, these rocky slimes. Which, okay, that illustrates my point right there. When 
slimes eat plorts from another type of slime, they combine with that slime. So those regular pink ones ate the plorts of these rocky blue ones and turned into like a combination. They turned into like a big slimes that are a combination of the two. But then if those slimes eat, no, I, I've never been in here. Interesting. Um, but then if one of those big slimes ends up eating plorts, so like if this, if the slime here eats a plort from this cat slime, it'll turn into a tar, which is the main enemy, and they try to kill you. So, yeah. Long story short, my last playthrough, I didn't know that, and I mixed a bunch of slimes in a corral, and they quickly all turned into tars. And, yeah, so that's why I'm fine starting over. Because I uh, basically ruined all my progress in the last game anyway. Okay, let's go try to turn in these plorts. digestive system. Hobson, Twillagers, Rancher, Explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch. You now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me. So I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these. If you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again, be talking to you, H. So, in my last playthrough, I don't know if I found any other notes aside from this one, but I'm assuming these will probably give you hints as you get further into the game. Okay, now that I have that coot, I want 
this in my last playthrough, but I wonder if it's even possible. Um, but if anyone's like done a passive playthrough where they only captured plorts from slimes in their natural environment and didn't actually go about like putting them in pens and stuff, if there's like a free ranch, slime ranch or playthrough or play style that is possible. There's a tap, yeah, I think they're called tappy slimes, yeah. And this big one is what I'm going for by combining two slimes. I'll get a big tappy slime like that. Which I guess I might as well take it. God, their mouths really freak me out, though. I don't know why its mouth is like that. I don't know. Like, it looks... Like it's like the mouth is cut open or it's drool running down. It's really hard to tell, but when the slimes have mouths like that, it really makes me uncomfortable for some reason. Okay. I'll make this further away one. This will be the tabby slime bed. And that guy, no, get out, get out, get out. I'm not going to kill my one rock hen. So I guess maybe I should invest in higher walls. Which, as you can see, the value of these plorts have already gone down. So did not just get much from that. chicken. Can I raise the walls of this? Because that honestly... Yeah, raising the walls of the coop is probably a better call. Okay, hopefully if I feed these guys some beets, they will settle down a bit. so bouncy. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, I need a hundred more. This one especially needs higher walls, because now it has a bunch of these big boys in it. Extra bouncy. Okay, let's go see if I can collect some more food. I guess I'll hold on to this hen. Nope. 
slimes are still left in the corral. I'm sure some have escaped. Wow, there's actually quite a few left in the corral. And, okay. Nice. first to keep my chicken safe at least. Truck scuttle bugs that chickens love to eat with their bellies full ends will produce eggs twice as fast. The Vitamizer bathes the chicken in Vita Race allowing them to grow into healthy and ends in roost rows twice as fast. It's 
stairs when I need them. There's no... Slimes have broken out now and gotten into the pet. Oh. They're still good, it appears. Get back in there. I just fed you. Oh crap. guys eat all my freaking chickens. Stay in your pens. I promise I'll bring food. I am not a very good rancher, I'm starting to realize. Did not mean to slam them against the wall. Okay, here we go. Got some carrots. Got some what, some poco fruit. Gonna eat those guys, sorry. a 
jumped over this wall before thinking it was a shortcut back and is not. It is a shortcut to death by jumping into the water. Okay, let's see how this is going. My chickens are growing up, that's nice.
seems like at night. Oh, nice. There's an achievement for free ranging. Seems like at night all those rare or more uncommon slimes disappear.
actually recover health or do I have to sleep to get my health back? I'm not sure. Also, I feel like this video's been a little rough. I apologize if this isn't my best work, like I said. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've recorded prior to this. So I feel a little bit rusty and having my recording software mess up at the beginning also was not ideal. But I plan to record a few videos today um, later in the day. I'm sure they'll get uploaded in a different order, but I plan to finally record a Grand Theft Auto V video, because I've been getting a lot of requests to do that. So my plan is to finally record that tonight after work, and then I might try to squeeze in a Minecraft video as well. Um, okay, I'm going to try to get one more upgrade. Probably end the video there since we're going on about 45 minutes now. Okay. Let's see. No. I could use. No! Ugh, oh, they ate my roast row. And my chicken. Frick. God damn.
I keep an eye out for those if you want to have the ability to vote and stuff to, uh, to give your feedback so I can make the channel as good as possible for you. Okay, we have a lot of chicken. things would be best, even though I really want the auto feeders and stuff. The music is greatly reduced to slime agitation. So...